Okay guys, so you might might have read the title of this video. You're thinking you guys never even said anything about this. Never even once said anything about a business. Well that's the case. We are starting a business and you guys soon will be able to buy lures off of us. Just friends that we see on mostly a daily basis. We'll be able to get the lures for a while. Um, have caught fish on pretty much all of these lures. Um, yeah, we have. Pretty much, yeah. I'm pretty sure I've caught a fish on every one of these lures. Uh, especially the flies. Daniel does a great, great job with the flies. Um, can't say enough about those flies. Because they do, they catch you a lot of bluegill. When you're fly fishing with them, they catch you a lot of bluegill. I love fly fishing. Um, it's actually almost a better way to fish than worms, but <laughs> then I go ahead the other day and throw crankbaits at their face, like smaller bluegill crankbaits, and they bite them. Don't know, don't ask. I just, they, they do. So, let's get right into the uh, bass jigs. I'll separate them here for you guys. And yes, I handmade all of these bass jigs. So yeah, the bass jigs are five dollars a piece, just so we can make some profit off of them because it is actually a lot of money to buy them. So, so I'll just name off the baits that we have. Oh, I have to grab my knife. Sorry about this, guy. I did not, I prepared, I was like, oh, I got everything, I'm good. I was like, oh, no. There it is. Crappie jigs all over the ground. Now. Oh. I'm trying to get every color to show you guys, because we do we make, how many colors are, oh, we can make any color you want either, too. We can make any color that you want. We make some pretty weird colors, too. We may, I made one that, see these ones with two lead weights in them? Those you can put different colors on, that's what I like to do. I like to put two different colors on. This color right here, I like, I call it Planet Earth because it's green and blue. It's like Planet Earth. Yep, black and blue. And we make black and blue ice fishing ants for the bass fishermen. Don't know why. They do work though, they, they work with the flash, but mainly use chartreuse. That's what I like to use. Oh, yeah, one black and blue leg. I use a orange leg. Usually, I'll probably want to go with some black and blue skin. Oh, wait, that's just you. There we go. Now, we do punch the holes through for you so you can immediately tie up with them these are just little prototypes and stuff like that okay so we'll jump right into the bass jigs like I said this is gonna be a long video I have a feeling no maybe I don't know this is a common common jig that a lot of people buy 3 8 ounce, this is just a black on black, black jig head, black skirt, good for stained water. Uh, most of our jigs are good for stained water or clear, that's why we like to make them. So, yeah, our bass jigs are that way. Some of our, some of our ice fishing ants, if you're fishing in different types of water, and I'm making a video today, so you'll see me in this shirt. And the bait video and the company video and you'll see me in a bluegill fishing video in the same shirt so yeah so it's in the same day you'll probably get two videos in one day or maybe I'll post the next the bluegill one tomorrow this is one we put a little bit of a beaver trailer on there beaver beaver tail grub trailer there this is actually a three fourth ounce uh, jig head this is a just a, I think it's a green pumpkin jig head. 
and with the black skirt. This is a lot heavier jig head. If you can tell by the jig, the ball on the jig head, you can tell it's it's a much heavier bait. You're going to be fishing this in 10, anywhere to 20, 25 feet of water. That's how deep you can fish these. You just got to be patient when you're letting that bait drop. A lot of guys, they like to let that bait drop, and then they start jigging it right away. It's You shouldn't do that at all. But it sometimes works. And the heavier jig heads are for more of your beginner fishermen to get that down into the strike zone more. And yeah, and the hooks on this are sticky, sticky sharp. They hurt so loud. These things hurt bad. You know, we don't get these little, we don't get the bad brown hooks. We get these hooks right here. Those are good hooks. If they're, they look like steel, those are good hooks. Now, our ice ants have that kind of goldish color, and, and yeah, that doesn't really matter. And so do our flies, but our flies, the whole thing with fly fishing is, when you get bit, you don't really set the hook that hard. You just kind of ease into them. Sometimes I really like to set the hook because, you know, yeah. So, yeah, then we'll get into this. Wow, we're already at six minutes and we haven't even got to any other bait. This is my bluegill one fourth ounce jig head. Uh, so the bluegill skirt. Uh, once again, those steel looking hooks. Then with the same jig. Oh, I'll, I'll show it to you on this one. Let's see if it shows it. Yeah, oh yeah, this one's good. Chartreuse uh, shad. Uh, Are you kidding me? In my other video, I said it was going to rain. It is raining, like, downpouring. Maybe you won't see me in the shirt. Maybe you'll see my, me in that shirt on the intro, but I'll be in a different shirt because that'll be tomorrow. I just want to get a video up for you guys. So, Yeah, it's with the green pumpkin. Come on, focus. If you can see them little black speckles in it. Focusing on my face. There, there you go. Trouble hook in the finger. If you can see that right there. I had one go through right there. And I had one go through right there. The, the one that came through right here came down to about there. So it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Then we got another white jig head with a white trailer for, a, it's a crawl off trailer, so yeah. Our ice fishing ants, everything, everybody's probably wondering because I've been trying to get those ready in the video. Thing stuck, oh no it's not. Thing was stuck right in my freaking filming area and I don't like that. Okay, so, this one is, uh. Planet Earth, you know, you can see the blue and the green. It, it kind of kind of mixes. This one is uh, chartreuse. I'm trying to figure out what the lead weight is. It's called a ladybug lead weight. That's what it is. So, yeah. So yeah, it's just a ladybug lead weight. And, yeah, well, like I said, hole is punched right there, as you can see that. Well, bam. Yeah, it's dying down. And by dying down, I mean it's not downpouring anymore. It's just grizzling. Anyway, everybody says that black is the best color for bluegill. I'm yet to be a... Yet to be a firm believer in that, but as you can see, the holes punch through it. I'm yet to be a firm believer in that, because I've tried black and chartreuse and blue are the only thing that work for me. And by the way, if you do use our ice fishing ants, they will after like I caught a hundred fish in one day. Like I catch a hundred fish almost every day over there, but they're all pan fish. But the the paint will still come off these, so. Um, maybe we could figure out a way, if you're close enough, 
we could go and get your ants. And one day I'll just sit down and repaint all of the ants. So, yeah. And repainting is only, I'll only charge like $2 for repainting all your jigs. Now, I don't have paint for like these bass jigs. So if those run out, sorry about your luck. If the hairs fall out of your flies, sorry about your luck. You only spent like four dollars on them, so if you catch a hundred fish on a fly, it's pretty good. Now, here's another planet Earth right there. Then here's a blue with two uh, lead weights or beads. A lot of guys call them beads. I don't know why. There's a blue ladybug. Uh, ladybug weighted with the hole punch to it's blue these uh ladybug ones i don't know why i call them ladybugs it's just because when i got them on the thing it said ladybug weight on them and they do kind of look like a ladybug right there and the hooks are pretty good you can not use these for ice fishing okay because they work all year round. And if you want to catch a bunch of small fish. You know I don't have a problem with small fish. If I'm catching a bunch of it. But I just catch one here and there. I got a problem with that. I'll upsize my jig head. And try to get the big ones. But I like catching a bunch of small ones. A bunch of flare fish. But. The, oh the last one is the black and blue. Yep you can see that transition pretty good. Then we'll go on to, oh wow, it's a 12 minute video. It's a pretty good video. This is some type of, like, what did he say? It was just like a quail feather or something that Daniel made. And then, okay, our most famous fly. The elk hair fly. It's actually a pretty good fly. I really like it. I've gone through about three of them, so I've gone through about 300 fish with it. And that's... Oh, crappie spinners. Then we're done. Then we're done. Don't worry. Sit back, relax, watch the video, enjoy. And if you want to get some, leave a comment down below. I'll definitely get you some. Okay. So the crappie spinner. Everybody, you know... I was very skeptical about crappie until I caught my first crappie ever. I was like, I kind of like that. I want to go fish for those again. And it was down at a lake called Highland Town Reservoir. And we were fishing for bass all day. And we had crappie stuff in the boat. I've never fished for crappie, so it was bluegill stuff to me. And I was like, we were sitting there and I was like, you know what, we're going to turn the corner. And these, it was a joke to my dad. I was like, we're going to turn the corner. These guys are going to, you know, have stringer fulls of bass and crappie and bluegill. And they're just going to be overloaded with them. We get in there and every guy, as soon as we got in there, was on. I was like, we're, we're fishing here for a while. And they were using simple float rigs. I'll do a video on floats. Maybe even today so we can get two videos because of the rain. It stopped. Anyway, here's the crappie spinners. This one I put a swim bait with a jig head and then these spinners with the Colorado. These are good little baits. I caught a bunch this this spring on with crappie. Like that. I threw that bait. I, you know. And there's this clip right here. So if you guys are fishing these and you're not catching anything. But your lake or something polluted with crappie. Take that off. And just throw your jig head. Just throw the jig head, please. You will catch so many crappie. That's why we're pretty much selling you two baits at one time for $3. So really, you're getting a spinner for $1.50. And you're getting a grub and a jig head for $1.50. So you're pretty much getting a good deal there. Um... So, yeah. And if you come to us 
or you you email us or something and you say, uh, can I get an order with, instead of like a swim bait or something like that, can I get like a chartreuse? Can I get a chartreuse one of them? And I'll immediately say, yes. You can make mix and match, but I'm putting on all the crappy jig heads and all that that work around me. The best bait that works around me for the crappie are these little pink and white uh, combos here. But I just put this with this on the spinner just to see for next year. And I've been I've been watching a bunch of videos and and so yeah, them are the crappie spinners. I've been watching a bunch of videos on crappie fishing. Uh, guys, go check out one guy that I really like to watch his pan fishing videos. His name is Richard Gene the Fishing Machine. He is actually a really, really good uh, crappie fisherman. He fishes Lake Weiss, which is one of the, one of my this is one of my goals is to get to Lake Weiss and crappie fish for one week in my whole entire life. And he bass fishes and he catfishes and he crappie fishes, he bluegill fish, shell crackers. He does all that. Um, and he hit he lives 15 minutes from Lake Gunnersville, so that's where he fishes a lot. Fishes for bass there, he fishes for catfish, he fishes from a bank, he fishes from a boat, he fishes everything. Um, and, yeah. He started his channel, I forget when he started it, but it's a good channel, go check it out. And as always, stay out. Thank you.